Greetings and a good morning everyone. You're now watching the segment of the TVS AM News. I'm Emmanuel Ruben and these are the 14 August editions. The Work Ministry will continue to monitor closely the implementation of the Pan Borneo Highway project to ensure that it is completed on schedule and within the allocated budget. Work Ministry uh, Dato Sri Fadila Yusuf called on all companies and uh, contractors involved in the project to make sure that works carried out are on time and to buck up if necessary. He said this after witnessing the exchange of a Memorandum of Understanding documents for the Contractor Financial Facility Programme at Kuching. He noted that the overall implementation of the Pan Borneo Highway project is ahead of schedule except for two work packages which are slightly behind schedule, namely the Surian Roundabout at Tupantu Junction project and the Mile 5 Nyabao Flyover and Bakun Junction to Sungai Tangap project. The 2.88 million ringgit Malaysia paid out by Housing Development Corporation in 2016 for alleged non-existing paint jobs was in fact the amount paid for maintenance works for two public housing projects, namely 2,372 units of houses at Permajaya, Miri and 816 units in Taman Dahlia, Kuching. The prominent secretary to the Ministry of Local Government and Housing Bakri Zaini said this was among preliminary findings in the preliminary investigations conducted by the Ministry on the shortcomings raised in the Auditor General's report 2016. He also mentioned that apparently the total amount of 2.58 million ringgit paid for the works also include payment for repainting of 12 units of houses not painted in Permajaya costing 11,000 ringgit. He added that the 12 units were badly damaged by fire requiring massive repair works and these repair works were expected to be completed by year end. Some 65 people were evacuated to relief centres after flash floods hit four villages near Salama on Sunday night. The affected villages are Kampung Parit Dalam, Kampung Sungai Bedara, Kampung Garo and Kampung Sungai Setar. Meanwhile, a family of seven from Kampung Sungai Bedara and 11 Kampung Garo villages were relocated to the Al Azazia Masjid in Sungai Bayor at 11 p.m. In Kampung Sungai Setar, 14 people are being temporarily housed at the community hall. The flash floods followed a heavy downpour which started at about 8 p.m. Well, that concludes our segment for today. I'm Emmanuel Ruben. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more updates in tvsarawak.com anytime, anywhere.